Welcome back, everybody, to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, today, I'm going to go over <laughs> Resurrection Remix 8.1. Or, no, 7.1.2. Um, this is not Oreo. I'm using the wallpaper, but only because I like the wallpaper uh, that they have out for Oreo. Um, what makes this ROM special that I would do a review on it? I've done many reviews on Resurrection. Uh, I've done a couple, actually, on uh, Nougat. You know, there's 7.1.2 version. And this is actually... Um, December's, I guess I, sh I would say, security patch. Well, uh, the difference is what device this is running on. This is my Moto E4 Plus, my Moto E4 Plus, or Owens, um, phone. And the only ROMs that are available for it, uh, besides stock, uh, is an unofficial LOS, um, Lineage OS, and of course, um, the, uh, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but P, uh, OSP, or P -A -O -S -P. it's not Paranoid Android, it's, uh, it's called, uh, uh Porn, An Porn Android or something, it's, it's a spoof on, uh, people hating porn, so they came out with this <laughs> ROM that's, uh, you know, like I said, it's a spoof, but it's a pretty good ROM. Um, so, I've been looking around trying to figure out, uh, what we could you know, do for this device because I really like the device. It's got a, it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery in it. Uh, so battery life in this phone is just off the hook. Um, so having a custom ROM on it is, you know, what I want. Uh, so what I did was, uh, I talked to the developer of uh, Lineage OS, the unofficial version. Uh, his name is Sean Starr, uh, and asked if I could use his trees for this. And of course, he said, <laughs> uh, "It's open source, dude." go for it, you know, you, you don't even have to ask, but yes, you do, and I realized that it's open source, and you know, I loved his answer, because that's classic people who love Android, um, he's not one of those people that, you know, it's his, uh, he was the one that, you know, worked up the tree, you know, and the certain uh, codes that he had to put in to get it to work for this device, and thereby it's mine, don't touch it, or if you do use it, make sure you ask my permission, that's not what Android was about, Android was a um, you know, an idea where all developers, developers or even non-developers would come together, throw their ideas into a giant pot, I guess, and call it the Android soup. And then everybody could, you know, pull out of this soup and make their own or, or just use it. And, and that's what's so great about this. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get off my soapbox again. And I just wanted to show you guys that this is out here. Now, am I going to keep up with this? I might. Depends on whether or not uh, Owens or Motorola uh, updates this uh, and if they do update it and as long as uh, Sean and uh, where I pull all my other repos uh, get updated I'll do as much as I can on my part to keep this ROM updated but it is Resurrection Remix Omix and this is version 585 um, and this is obviously built today or yesterday actually um, and it is for the Moto E4 uh, Plus which is Owens, uh, model number XT1775. Uh, I don't think this is going to work on any of the other models, um, just because of the modems, basebands, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so I can only uh, say that it will work on the XT1775. All right. Um, again, build type unofficial because it was built by me. So yeah, it's definitely unofficial. Um, uh, there's your security patch. Uh, as you can see, uh, it was built by me, so the kernel's going to show it's mine. Uh, I did nothing to the kernel. It's straight source kernel built, so uh, I'm thinking the kernel is LOS, so it's base, it's just straight LOS, uh, unless, of course, um, Sean Starr did some tweaks to it, which I think he did. So, you know, again, uh, it's it's Sean source uh, and LOS sources and reset, uh, Resurrection Remix source. A lot of source in there. Uh, and thanks goes out to all of those guys, all right? Uh, SE Linux is enforcing. I just wanted to go through this quick. I'm not going to really, uh, you know, spend a lot of time on this. We all know what Resurrection Remix is, but I wanted to show you guys that it works on this device. Uh, I've been receiving messages. I've been making several phone calls with it. I've been testing it out the wazoo. Camera works. Uh, takes, you know, just as good of pictures as, as it always did. I tested it with both the onboard camera and I downloaded Google camera. Uh, Google camera works on it. Uh, I think the onboard camera is a little better. 
Uh, I tried to use the Google camera, it showed a little darker. I might demonstrate that depending on whether we have time or not. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, I wanted to show you configurations. Uh, yes, if you look in the status bar, you'll see 3 minute mod works on this. Uh, although, guys, the 3 minute battery mod, for some reason, when you download the app from the Play Store and open it up, it's, it's all screwed up. Um, you don't get pictures of batteries anymore, you just get website threads. Uh, it's really screwy. So, <laughs> the way I had to enable my 3 minute mod was I uploaded my downloads from a different device and then <laughs> downloaded them onto this and put them in the folder of saved icons and then I just added them in but you know it is what it is uh, clock customizations uh, you go uh, right left center um, uh, show seconds AM PM date date style position uh, date format what's really cool what I love about resurrection remix again font style. Uh, you guys know if you watch any of my videos I love the dancing script. Uh, I go dancing script bold. Uh, these are all the different ones you can use for it. Um, and they, they also allow you to adjust the size. You can go way big if you want or you can go way down small if you want. Um, I actually like mine right about there. It gives me enough room up there and it doesn't crowd it too much. So uh, Next up uh, your brand logo. If you guys want to run with it, there it is. Uh, I have it running on the left. You can color it whatever color you want. Custom logos, again, uh, if you want one, just enable it. Uh, and then pick the logo you want out of all these. And they got a, a pile of them to choose from. Uh, and then, of course, you can color it by clicking on that. Pick the color that you want, so on and so forth. Uh, and then you can put it wherever you want, right, left, center. Um, it gives you the same options. Um, Battery is up next. Uh, these are the uh, choices they give you. Of course, I went with none or hidden because I want to run the three minute mod. Uh, that was another reason I wanted to build this particular ROM for this device was just because I knew that uh, for all devices that this actually has that um, you know built right into its code. So all you got to do is download the three minute mod from the Play Store uh, and it'll work right out of the gate. Uh, let's see, pretty much uh, basic stuff for your battery. Um, they do have the battery bar. I am running with battery bar. Uh, and again, you can pick your colors. Uh, you can put it wherever you want, basically. Uh, so that's all working. Uh, system icons, uh, you can just pick and choose what you want to show up there. Um, as far as, you know, icons go. Uh, they do give you the, well, I'll, let, we'll get a, we'll go over that when we get there. But, uh, weather notifications is up next. Uh, yes, I do have it showing. As you can see, it's 38 degrees here in central Pennsylvania. Uh, it's working great. You can color it. You can actually make that whatever size you want. Uh, network traffic, if you guys want to run with that, there it is. And they also allow you to color it, which, again, is cool. That's why I like, you know, Marshmallow and Nougat, because it had all those custom features. Marshmallow, or uh, Oreo, you don't have those features anymore. Uh, you can run with a carrier label if you want, or a custom carrier label. Right now I'm running with nothing. I have it disabled, but they also allow you to color that and change the text font and change the text size. Again, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, these are your gestures. Uh, you can uh, brightness control by sliding on the status bar with your finger if you want, or double tap to sleep. Again, I don't use those features, but it's there. Uh, system UI Tuner, that's what I was going to talk about earlier, but I figured why talk about it then when I'm going to come to it here. Uh, this is where you can actually pick what you want to show on your status bar. Um, and of course, I have a lot of things shut off. I just don't use that stuff. Uh, and even some of the things like volume and stuff like that, I don't, I don't want to see that on my status bar. So I just shut them off. Um, let's see here. Uh, breathing notifications, if you guys want to run with them, there are the settings for that. Uh, swipe to the right brings up the panel. You have your panel notifications. Um, one of the things that I didn't get to see on this is where you could actually have that Resurrection Remix logo in the background. And I'm not sure if that was on Nougat or if they quit doing that in Marshmallow. I thought they carried it over to Nougat, but I could have been wrong. Uh, but it's not there. Uh, they do allow you to, uh, to adjust the uh, quick shade uh, stroke if you want to do that. I have it disabled. Uh, but you guys can go with an accent color, which will basically change colors according to what you're running uh, or the theme that you run. Uh, or you can go with a custom color and just set it yourself. And basically what that does is when you pull down, it has an outline of color around it, uh, the color that you choose. Uh, and then, of course, you can, uh, you know, the adjustments down below that, you can change your shade, uh, you know, color, the depth, the clarity, all that uh, with the buttons, uh, the sliders down below that. 
headers, yes, uh, it does come with the headers um, and all the custom headers from the Play Store, um, the apps that you know have uh, the headers in them, uh, they all work on this. Uh, so if I go into uh, header provider, I'm running dynamic, you can go dynamic or static. Uh, and if you pick the headers, these are your resurrection remix headers. Um, but if I scroll down through here, you will notice that I have a lot of headers that I've downloaded from all those apps. Um, Frankie's headers are here uh, among the SOS and the six headers, uh, along with a lot of other ones from some other apps that I downloaded. You can pick and choose from them, and yes, they all work. Uh, here's your header, or header image uh, shadow there. You can slide that, make it darker or lighter if you want. Uh, you can show weather or not show weather, weather image, service settings, you know, stuff like that. Uh, these service settings are your weather service settings. So you want to set that up in order to have that weather in your status bar. But you're going to see this several times throughout the settings. So uh, I just figured I'd show it to you once. Um, that's pretty much it for header. Uh, you have your task manager. If you want to run with a task manager, there it is. Uh, volume panel settings. Uh, it even gives you the option to color and do stuff like that with that. Um, power dialog. Uh, notifications. These are your settings for that. Swipe to the right brings up your recents. You have your general UI. Uh, basically, you know you have your immersive recents. I always run uh, full screen. Uh, then you have your show memory bar if you want, uh, which I do. Uh, and by the way, this is what the recents look like right here. Uh, you have your lock icon show, clock, and of course uh, show date, which I normally do, but I don't lock uh, the icon on there. Uh, clear all button, recent style. Uh, under recent style, uh, you can customize it somewhat with your buttons, uh, coloring your buttons, coloring the text, uh, all that stuff that is right there uh hidden apps and then of course you have your recent type you can go with the uh, aosp grid omni switch or slim uh, it does give you those options uh, swipe to the right brings up quick settings you have your quick animations uh, right here uh, animation style uh, you know your duration your tile uh, interpolar um, those, and then we have the quick pull down uh, animations for the pull down when you pull down i actually have that shut off i don't like that um, again, it's just something that I don't like. You guys can run with it if you want. And by the way, I didn't even check to see if that works. Nope, see the animations are still there. See how it folds up? So it doesn't work anyways. Uh, tile layout, this is going to be where you set up your columns and your rows uh, to have you know what you want. I actually won't go, I'm going with four rows. Uh, the four rows fit pretty good. Um, so that's how I go. But you don't have to. You can go with more columns and more rows or less columns and less rows. It's entirely up to you. Uh, let's see, advanced. It's going to bring up uh, basically your vibrate on touch, advanced tiles, uh, you know, all of that. Uh, but I'll, I'll scroll down through, let you guys see what the settings are for that. Again, see that service settings down there for weather? That shows up a lot. But hey, I'd rather show up a lot than none at all. You know, at least, you know, it gives us the, uh, uh, the option to change that. And of course, you don't have to look too hard to find it because it's <laughs> everywhere. Um, Lock screen's up next. Uh, you do have your lock screen gestures. Uh, those are the gestures there. Uh, lock screen UI. This is going to uh, be where you can basically, this is your look and feel and function of a lock screen. Oh, I know what I want to show you. Under lock screen. Another thing I like, again, font options. You can change the fonts on just all kinds of things, and I just love that. Um, that's just something, again, about Resurrection Remix I just love so much. It, it, allowing to be able to change the fonts throughout your phone. Uh, let's see, color. Uh, you guys can go through and change all the colors. Now, I don't normally run with my colors like this, but I did this to show you that you can do that if you want. You know, change the colors on your lock screen. Go crazy with it, you know, if you want. But uh, this is what all they allow you to color on your lock screen, which, again, is a ton. Uh, let's see, we have your bottom shortcuts, your upper shortcuts, uh, if you want to add or, you know, not run with them, that's where you go for that. Uh, then we have your weather options, show weather, you know, your location, uh, all of that, uh, it does work, I'll quickly do that, show you, that's what it looks like. Um, then you have your condition icon pack, uh, you can choose between the two there. Uh, that is going to be it for weather. Um, 
Ultimate Security is up next. Uh, quick unlock show a power menu, lock screen, and then you have your lock screen notification count. Swipe to the right brings up gestures. You have your gesture anywhere, app circle bar, uh, pie control. I didn't test a pie control. I actually didn't test any of this. Uh, I did test a three finger uh, uh, gesture. And it's working. See, all you do is put three fingers on the screen and pull down, and you get a screenshot. So that is working. Uh, swipe to the right brings up your buttons. Nav bar. This is where you're going to set up your nav bar for a smart bar or fling. Uh, if you guys want to go through that, I'm not going to go into the different settings between smart bar and fling. Uh, watch uh, some of my other videos uh, if you want more in depth, um, you know, detail on that. Uh, I do go into detail on both of those in my other videos. I want to try to keep this one a little bit short. Power menu options, a ton of things to add to your power menu, uh, which is cool. Uh, I also have mine to uh, rotate, so if you look, uh, you'll see the power menu come up, it rotates. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's coming up here, I'll show you where to get to that. Um, that's pretty much it for the buttons, uh, end call, oh, advanced restart, you want to click that on if you want that advanced reboot menu. Uh, then you have your rocker, you know, your, your uh, volume rocker controls, stuff like that. Uh, and then under miscellaneous, accidental touch. Uh, and then, of course, your pocket detection, which I am running. You can't see it because it has that plus sign over it, but it is running. Swipe to the right. This brings up animations. Uh, system animations. These are the system animations that it comes with. Uh, you guys can run with whatever you want or none at all. Uh, I'm running with none at all as far as system-wide. Uh, I do run with scrolling modifiers. I have it turned on. My fling velocity is up to 19.5. Uh, that's where it runs good for me. I just leave it there. Uh, scroll friction, I like it right around 30. It doesn't allow you to do that. And if you touch that, move it off of 70, it will not allow you to go back down to 70. It'll, it'll default right to 120. So, um, all I do is set my fling velocity to 19.5. And then I just uh, go back and it saves it there. Um, toast is up next. Yes, I do like to. I don't know why I didn't set that up. I like to toast icons. Uh, animation. We're going to go rotate if they have it. And they don't. So let's just say default. Um, we're going to add a color to that. Let's go uh, orange and um, blue. Uh, let's see. Power menu's up next. This is. Uh, where I showed you that uh, I have mine on rotation but there's a whole bunch of things you can choose from um, you know as far as the animations go for your power menu uh, then you have your configuration tabs or basically these tabs that we're scrolling through uh, you can configure them to do whatever you want kind of like Nova Launcher or something like that uh, I don't mess with it I leave it at default you, I'm not in into these settings a lot so I really don't care what it looks like when I'm scrolling through it under interface, this is going to be where you go your font size, display size, stuff like that. And again, this stuff uh, used to be under you know display and sounds and stuff, but they're putting it in here, which I kind of like because then that keeps me from having to go through all my other uh, settings when I set a phone up. So you do have your font size, display size, custom L LCD uh, display uh, in pixels. Um, they they have the theme launcher here for some reason as well. Um, but what I wanted to show you was blur. Uh, again, this is something that they're known for. A couple other ROMs are known for this. Um, uh, AICP, I'm pretty sure AOSIP has Blur in it. Uh, and a couple other ROMs. Uh, this is a, a feature that I just love. Uh, and of course, I'm going to run with it. You, but uh, Resurrection goes a little bit further by allowing you to color the Blur uh, to whatever you want. I kind of just leave it the way it is. But you can really pull some really nice looks on your phone by coloring it. Uh, just remember, if you color it, it may conflict with the theme that you're running. Just remember that. Uh, you have your expanded desktop uh, fingerprint settings because this phone has a fingerprint sensor on it. For a phone that's under 200 bucks, it's awesome and it works really good. Uh, headset, uh, you have your call options. You can go in here and, and you know change some call options if you want. Uh, ambient display, I don't like ambient. I keep mine shut off, but you guys can run with it. Um, I just don't like it. Uh, your dashboard settings are here. Um, of course, you can change your configuration style. Uh, you know, again, just all kinds of settings. It's Resurrection Remix. It's loaded with settings. Uh, input options are next. Uh, basically, keyboard stuff. Uh, heads up. Uh, I always run off with my heads up, uh, but you guys can run with it on and go through some of the settings if you want. 
uh, screenshot options. Uh, this is where you're going to go full screen or pick part of it. Uh, I always just go with the default, which is full screen. Um, I can always crop it later. Uh, then under miscellaneous, this is going to be your uh, warning color uh, for, you know, whenever you, wait a minute, what is that? Enable orange status navigation bar. When, oh, battery. Duh. Yeah, when your battery's starting to run low, you can you can enable it to be uh, orange. Uh, and then, of course, you have your show floating button. Uh, that is it for interface. Miscellaneous is up next. Uh, this is going to be where you can have your sensor block for package, uh, your clock and widget settings, which is basically uh, your lock screen clock uh, and your weather panel, uh, and, of course, your calendar events. Uh, that's where you're going to go in to set all that up at. Uh, updates, check for OTA updates. Obviously, you're not going to get that with this ROM because it's for this phone. Uh, this is not an official build, and Resurrection Remix does not support this device, guys. I built this ROM, okay? Just to get that out there. Uh, you have your alarm blocker, suspend actions, uh, and then, of course, a system app remover. Be careful, guys. Um, you want to watch what you're pulling out of your ROM because a lot of system apps are tied in. You pull something out, you're going to start getting faults, random reboots. So far, this has not rebooted on me since I booted it for the first time. And I've been running it for about eight hours now. So um, it's working great. Uh, if we swipe to the right, that's going to bring up the last, which about basically tells you about Resurrection Remix. It gives you a change log. Um, it's features, you know, everything. How to, how to do a log if, if you have problems. Uh, their website, their forum, GitHub, guys, if, if, if this is where I did, this is where I went to build this. Well, some of it, I had to pull, uh, I basically used their, their uh, GitHub uh, in order to, um, uh, to get my main repo folder. Uh, and then I pulled the trees in, uh, the device trees from uh, Sean, um, Sean Starr, uh, who builds the unofficial LOS. Uh, I pulled his <laughs> repos in with a... I'm not going to get into that, guys. This is all building stuff, mumbo jumbo. But anyways, uh, I, I highly recommend that you guys go through this. You know, have a look in here. These guys are awesome. They do a lot of work uh, under the hood that you don't know about. I mean, people flash ROMs and they they get the they don't think anything about the developers, but these guys spend a ton of time putting this together. Me, I'm not a developer, guys. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I compiled a ROM. Anybody can compile a ROM. So these are the guys that has their, their stuff together. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I could go through the display and sound and all that, but there's nothing any different on that than any other ROM that I've showed you out there. Uh, you know, developer options, same way. You know, it's all the same, um, you know, as any of the other uh, Nougat ROMs that they have out. Now, it does come with um, lawn, lawn chair, lawn chair, lawn chair. Uh, and, um, of course, I flashed the... Um, trying to think uh the gaps package nano nano <laughs> open gap 7.1.2 nano package that's the one that i flashed with this i didn't flash pixel launcher and it was on there too so the rom comes with pixel launcher as well um i'm running nova launcher obviously that's my ROM, that's my launcher of choice uh and you know since this is my phone <laughs> um that's what i'm running on it so Guys, that's it. Uh, Resurrection Remix 7.1.2. I know it's not the latest and greatest, but it is for this phone. So I just wanted to let you guys know it's out there. Uh, I will put a link in the description if you guys want to run this ROM on your phone. Uh, you, In order to flash this ROM, you have to be running the uh, stock firmware first, and you have to have a good data connection. If you do not have a data connection, that this ROM is not going to run for you. It'll run, but you're not going to have any data. You have to be running stock moto firmware and you know and be able to make calls and send and receive messages if you can do that then you know put your re put your recovery on it, your torp recovery you know obviously you have to have your bootloader unlocked uh, then flash torp reco recovery make a backup of your system image not your system system image because if something screws up and you need to go back to stock you're going to need that system image you flash that your phone will come back to you if you flash a system not in the system image you're not going to get your uh, data back. So I'm just warning you right now. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are totally awesome. Um, I can't tell you how much I, you know, I, I just appreciate all you guys. Um, and I will see you on the next one.